All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Look at the cavalry in the background, but why are we here? We're seeing the first British warship in World of Warships. This is Her Majesty's War Spice. It's a Queen Elizabeth class. My mother's named Elizabeth, so it was named after her, obviously. Um, also, in the realm of what the tits is uh, the matchmaking right now. Yeah, we got a pretty bad max range, as is pointed out in the chat right now. We've got 16.24. Like, Alright, yeah, let's get our little alt there. What, 16.2? But um, on paper it says the max range is 16.4. I'll have you know, but... Uh, so we got tier 9s on this, uh, and I'm a tier 6. Uh, if I kill one, tell you what, man, I'm putting that on my resume. When I apply to uh, be an expert Cuban sandwich presser, I'm going to put that on my resume. I think I'm going to get hired. But on a more serious note, this thing has four turrets, two guns each, 381 millimeter guns, 15 inches, a uh, fire rate of about two rounds per minute. But what really, really sucks, I think the biggest disadvantage is the max range on this ship. You're going to get outranged by almost every... You know, you're going to get outranged by pretty much any battleship, I think. Um, the range is pretty bad. Now, if you were to compare it to another tier 6 battleship, the Fuso, unupgraded, um, just stock, it's got a max range of 19.8 kilometers. So, already over 3 kilometers greater than what you have. And then, fully upgraded, it's got a range, max range of 21.8 kilometers. Furthermore... The Fuso's 25 knot speed, you have 24, so once you're in the guns, if he wants to, you're never going to escape. However, what you will notice about this ship is that, um, sorry, a little ADD here, is that it's rather short, but that also makes it pretty maneuverable, or that in concert with a number of other things makes it pretty maneuverable ship, so we've got a Fletcher. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If I if I could get close to him, he's got 17,000 health as a tier 9. They're all probably just licking their lips like, oh my gosh. They got 6s and 7s. And they're all... They've got 3 tier 9s, an 8, and 2 7s. So this should be weird. I'll say that. We do have a carry advantage though. So that's got to be great. Uh, yeah, that'll be great. Anyone in range? No one's in range. The Fletcher's sailing away. I tried to coordinate with everybody the the way to go. You know, I said, like, uh, kind of, if you look on the map, I kind of did a little line like that. But, as per usual, people have their own agendas in mind. But I think when, when you're dealing with matchmaking like this, and obviously it won't be like this once it's open beta. Do I know when that is? No, but I really wish it was right now. Because I'd love hundreds and thousands... And maybe even tens of thousands of new people to play with. <clears throat> but, uh... I don't know what's gonna happen. That Sims is already way out there. What are you doing, Sims? You drunk, mate? You fighting a Fletcher 1v1? Trying to fire torpedoes at the Fletcher? That's what happens. That's what happens when you try to torpedo a destroyer. He's gonna dodge them. Now he's gonna shoot at that Farragut. He's still out of my range, and he's so fast, I'll never catch him. You know what, should we just charge Mr. Nagato? I don't know. There's a cruiser back there. Looks like Farragut hit him pretty decently. But, uh, yeah, you know, sailing in the open ocean. Trying to see what's going on. So let's compare some other statistics between the two Tier 6 battleships. we got the Warspite and the Fuso. So... The Fuso's got 360 millimeter main guns. The difference is it's got 12 guns. It's got six turrets with two guns each. Warspite has eight guns, four turrets, two guns each. 381 millimeter main guns, so they're bigger, but I mean, the uh, Fuso's got a lot more. Now, the gun traverse, uh, 180 degree turn for the guns is 50 seconds it's 50 seconds on the Fuso and it's 72 on the Warspite but I think this Fletcher's kind of in line 
So, I'm not saying we can hit him unless he's going in a pretty predictable way. Plus, he's just outside of our range. Look at all those torpedoes. But, yeah, actually, I guess we could go give that Baltimore what for. If we could get in range. Oh, yeah, we're not even going full speed. What are we doing with our lives? So, yeah, charge in Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore. Tier 9. You know what? I'm going to put you on my mantle, my friend. I'm going to come up there, and I'm going to pew, pew, pew you in the face. And you're going to die. And it's going to be great. And everyone's going to get to see the glorious war spite against all of the odds. All the odds ever. As that Baltimore continues to run. Um, but yeah, so... Now let's look at the damage of the guns, right? How much different is 21 millimeters of extra, you know, gun caliber thickness, whatever. The maximum damage of the high explosive rounds on the War Spite is 6,060. Compare that to the 4,100 on the Fuso max damage. Obviously, it's RNG, random number generation, etc. like that. What people often call rolls, because it's like rolling a dice sometimes is how it feels. Armor piercing max damage on the War Spite with its 15 inches is 12,590, at least according to the paper statistics. Alright, we're turning in. And um, then you've got the Fuso with a max damage of 11,000, right? On those size guns. So honestly, I feel like. Ooh. That sucks. We're down three ships already. I need to kill one. The Farragut got a kill. On a Fletcher. Very well done, sir. You definitely did your service. Tier 6 to a Tier 9. I congratulate you, sir. I congratulate you. Now the rest of us... Are... Well, I guess I'm kind of closer. I, the one battleship way up there. He did not follow the let's stick together plan that we kind of discussed about at the beginning. But you know what? He may prove to be a pretty good distraction for those two battleships. So that could be just what we needed. He's playing his role, whether he knows it or not. So, are we in range? No, that's 17 kilometers. We're in a simple battleship with very short range. Um, yeah, so first off, the biggest disadvantage, easiest, is um, that... This thing's range. I'm already in Nagato's range. Is he dodging torpedoes? Damn it. Alright, we're back. Fire all the guns. Let's turn. The AC guys just got here. In Florida, your AC breaks. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. So, as we're trying to target the Nagato... Turning away from us. Let's just turn in. Nice. Damage is steering. Only 43 damage, though. Oh, the war spite. What are you gonna do, though? What are you really gonna do? We got German spies in our mist. They're outside. Sneaking around and shit. Come on, let's kill Nagato. Tier 7? He's not too bad. He's not too bad. If we can hit. 217 damage. I feel like the AP on this just doesn't do it. Doesn't do it justice. Cannot wait to fire these last two shots. He's turning. Hmm. Now there's the Ranger. Getting his range. <laughs> Getting range of the Ranger. 256 damage, once again. You make, you know, it's like, you feel like you're firing water balloons at these guys. 
But first impressions, I'm going to have to do like a more comprehensive video on this bad boy. So what was that? Eight seconds? Oh, he got taken out. Oh, we're firing HE right now. How did that happen? What the shit? Hmm. I did not know we were firing HE. Truly. I always preload armor piercing rounds. Must have went when I had to stop recording to go answer the door. First world problems, guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot to load my armor piercing rounds today. Laddie book. Alright, let's rotate, get these other turrets into play. In front, behind, on target. We want to light him on fire so that he can't take off the planes from his flight deck. That's basically what we're going for here. Wow. Beautiful. Hey, tell you what. Some critical hits right there. Shot down a plane. Looks like some dive bombers, so I'm not really bothered by that. Now, what I'll do... I think we're going to win this one by capping. Because the dive bomber did not reset the cap. Oh, shoot. We may not win this one. They're firing at the Lexington instead of the guys in the cap. That's fine with me. Now we're gonna switch over to AP as fast as humanly possible. Ooh, we reset the cap on them. Did some serious damage. Now hopefully they don't hit us. First impressions though of this ship are that it's underpowered. Um. It's got great maneuverability, that's the best thing for it. If you're in a, a game where it's mostly tier 6s, tier 5s, just go in close quarters and brawl. Upgrade your secondaries. Oh man, it's been a weird day so far, I'll tell you that much. How do we do? Second place on our team, Mr. Ubuki. Tier 9 though, 3 kills, did his part. I felt like I, I did my part. How much damage we do? 13,000. We were firing HE the whole time like a noob. We didn't even know. I always load armor piercing rounds, which was really, really weird. But let's go back to port and just kind of go over what we're talking about here. What's up, Shariar? Shariar? All right, so survivability, artillery. AA guns, maneuverability, and concealment. Concealment, mm, not good. Uh, you've got a really good turning circle radius, 550 meters. AA guns is not too bad. You've got 1120s, you've got 3240s, and then you've got, what was it, 802 millimeter guns that also serve as secondary guns, you know, the dual purpose ones. Secondary guns, you got pretty decent. It's not as good as the Fuso, which obviously is tier 6. And you can see here, 330 millimeters of armor. I'm not sure if it's perfectly modeled or and everything's done or if they're going to change it. But right now, it seems like the War Spite is lacking in really just potential at its tier relative to other tiers. Or excuse me, even just other ships of its tier. Tier 6, tier 5. Uh, the Fuso and the Congo. I would I would sail either of those ships over this one now, but they're not British. So as you can see here, it's the first British ship in the game, the Royal Navy. And you know you've got a couple Russian ships. You've got I think it's three of them right now. Um, we may see a Kriegsmarine ship, maybe the Scharnhorst, the Bismarck, the Tirpitz, something like that. I would imagine that thing would come in. You know, probably I'd put money on a week yeah yeah I would do that but um 
Yeah, I think overall, I bet if you were to calculate the DPM, the Fuso's got this thing beat, even though this does have bigger guns. It's just the extra two turrets is pretty substantial. Let's check it out. Yeah, six turrets. And your secondaries are much, you've got a lot more secondaries. You've got 1,452s and you've got eight 127s. Have a little less armor, but honestly, it didn't feel that way. I felt like I got citadeled relatively easy when dealing with other battleships. Plus, you account for the fact that they're going to be faster than you. And they are going to have better range than you. You really got to go in and get nice and close. That's how I feel. But that's how it plays right now. Those are just first impressions. I'll make a more comprehensive video. But I got to get this air conditioning fixed, guys. We're in Florida. And without AC you're gonna die. Instead of winter's coming, it's called you're gonna die is coming. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button. I'll see you soon.